Do you believe that the Targaryens can truly control their dragons? With the Dance of Dragons looming on the horizon, House of the Dragon second season has many questions that it must answer. Although we already have an idea of much of what will happen based on the book Fire and Blood, we also know that the book tells the story through various people and different viewpoints. The series creators are seeking a narrative between these perspectives, which often diverge from the original story and open the door to possible changes that may and should occur throughout the series. So, we have several questions that may or may not be answered in the new season. So, welcome back Dragon Lords and Dragon Ladies. Today, we're diving deep into the burning questions that season two of House of the Dragon needs to answer. From dragon battles to political intrigue, let's fire up those dragon flames and get started. First up on our list is the rift between Rhaenyra and Alicent. The rift has plunged Westeros into war. But will these former friends turned bitter enemies ever find common ground again? While Alicent's intervention thwarted her father's sinister plot against Rhaenyra and her children, the scars of betrayal might run too deep for the Black Queen to forgive. With the tragic loss of Lucerys intensifying their hostility, the possibility of a reunion between these two seems remote. Yet, their dynamic has been nothing short of explosive and might yield unexpected twists as season to unfolds. Next, let's talk dragons. Lucerys' tragic death in season 1 suggests that controlling these legendary beasts might be more challenging than previously believed, or Amond killed him on purpose. From Eamon's struggle with Vagar to Lucerus' own difficulties with Air Axe, the question remains, does anyone truly command the fiery wrath of dragons? While it's possible to chalk up Lucerus' challenges to his youth and lack of experience, Eamon's seeming inability to command Vagar requires further examination. As one of Westeros' most skilled warriors, his struggle implies a more profound underlying problem. It begs the question if King Viserys' assertion holds weight. The notion that we control the dragons may be nothing more than a mirage. Aegon Targaryen, the reluctant king, Despite his legitimacy, Aegon's ineptitude is no secret. But, as the struggle for power intensifies, will he rise to the occasion and become the leader Westeros needs? Or, will his misrule lead to further chaos and discord? In Fire and Blood, fans learned that Aegon's potential as a capable leader doesn't exist. His rash actions resulted in his incapacitation prompting Aemon to step up as protector of the realm. However, the full extent of Aegon's poor governance and the consequences of his decisions are yet to unfold in House of the Dragon leaving room for speculation about whether he will face a monumental failure. Lord Larry Strong, the master manipulator lurking in the shadows. What are his ultimate ambitions, and how far will he go to achieve them? With his subtle machinations and enigmatic motives, Lord Strong is shaping up to be one of the series' most intriguing characters. While Larys's peculiar fixation on Alicent's feet might suggest deeper, darker desires, his true aspirations remain frustratingly ambiguous. Unlike the overt power maneuvers of Petter Baelish, Larys navigates with subtlety, operating as an informant while subtly furthering his own agenda. The full extent of his schemes and the depths of his ambitions are poised for revelation in Season 2. Another question that needs to be answered is if Rhaenyra and Daemon remain united. As civil war looms, the bond between Rhaenyra and Daemon faces its toughest test yet. Can they overcome their differences and stand together against the Greens? Or, will their conflicting agendas tear them apart? Demons' hunger for conflict clashes with Rhaenyra's caution, and their differences continue to escalate as Demon pursues his agenda without her consent. Speaking of family drama, 
Let's not forget about Allison and Otto Hightower. Their strained relationship has been simmering since season one. But will the impending conflict deepen their divide or bring them closer together? Only time will tell. The confrontation between Allison and Otto in episode 9 of season 1 laid bare the depths of their discord, with Allison confronting her father about how he had manipulated her as a pawn. This dynamic was left unresolved at the close of season 1 and with season 2 on the horizon, the looming conflict may either deepen their estrangement or offer a chance for reconciliation. Will Rhaenyra turn into a mad ruler? The Targaryens have a history of volatile rulers and Rhaenyra's resilience is about to be put to the test. Will she succumb to the shadows of madness, or will she defy fate and forge a different legacy for herself? As grief and betrayal intertwine, the specter of madness hovers over Rhaenyra. From the shattering loss of her rightful claim to the throne, to the devastating deaths of her sons, Rhaenyra's fortitude has been severely tested. As season two unfolds, the pivotal question emerges, will Rhaenyra yield to the encroaching shadows of madness, or will she defy destiny and carve out a new legacy? And let's not forget the political chess game unfolding across Westeros. The conflict between the Greens and the Blacks will force the realm's greatest houses to choose sides. As power struggles escalate, Season 2 of House of the Dragon promises to unveil the allegiances of crucial households. The Greens led by the High Towers have solidified their coalition through strategic marriages and alliances. Houses Baratheon, Lannister, High Tower and Strong have all pledged their loyalty to their cause. On the opposing side, Team Black, under the leadership of Rhaenyra, faces the daunting task of rallying support from Houses Aaron, Frey, Tarly, Greyjoy, and Stark. The upcoming season will reveal whether Rhaenyra's diplomatic efforts bear fruit. As alliances shift and loyalties are tested, the very fabric of the political landscape in Westeros hangs in the balance. And last, but certainly not least, the question on every dragon rider's mind, who will claim Vermithyr? With the Dance of Dragons approaching, the rider of this formidable beast could play a decisive role in the conflict. As Demon has already formed a strong bond with Caraxes, the mystery of who will ride Vermithyr is still up in the air. Additionally, there are several dragons without riders, including Sea Smoke, Silverwing, and three wild dragons, all waiting for potential matches. As Season 2 of House of the Dragon progresses, whoever ultimately claims for Mithra will play a crucial role in determining how the conflict unfolds. And there you have it folks. Which questions are you most excited to see resolved? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.